So my son has a school project due tomorrow. My wife doesn't trust me. It's not that I don't trust you. It's that I don't want you to do it for I'm him. I'm not going to do it. No one is going to believe that KJ did this. Why wouldn't they believe that he did this? He's five. KJ, did you do this? No. <laughs> See? Comedian and Queens native Kevin Herrera is basically all of us, every parent. He calls it like he sees it, and his trademark, sometimes irreverent style, is hitting all the right notes with fans, and Kevin is joining us tonight. Teresa, thank you for having me, I appreciate it. That's the one that got me hooked. This one, right, the gumball? The, the gumball, because when I found that one, <laughs> I too was in the midst of attempting to master the pre-K project. Yeah, yeah, no, it's the only way I could do it, honestly. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Okay, so you have quite the following on social media. You have over a million followers on TikTok, almost half a million followers on Instagram. Where did this come from? Did Had you been building a following for a while, or did you all of a sudden just blow up during the pandemic? Yeah, we started in 2020. My wife used to always send me videos of other couples, and I honestly, it just didn't seem relatable to me at all. So I figured, all right, I'll take the chance, start putting out stuff that's more relatable to me, and hopefully not be the only one that's going crazy raising two kids you know yeah absolutely that is really your bread and butter it's yeah. talking about your family your beautiful wife Nikita who thank you you know you you give her a lot of flack on social for 16 years though she's been doing it for 16 <laughs> years so. but yeah that really seems to be what has resonated with people yeah. tell us a little bit about that decision to make sure that your family was at the center of this um, I think it was tough in the beginning and Nikita wasn't very she's you know we're, we're both actually very anti-social which seems weird but we are I wouldn't I Especially wouldn't think now that with me doing stand-up you know? yeah but we we definitely are and putting our business out there in the beginning I think was a little tough but we honestly just fell in love with the process and it was super cool and, and now I'm living my dream so it's been awesome do any of your bits get to not bits because it's actually yeah. real life right yeah, I mean real life, but it's, it's written down I do a lot of writing you know I kind of just recreate things that have happened in the past. So they are mostly based on real life circumstances? Every single piece is mostly based on real life circumstances. Like calling your mom to say that your wife doesn't yeah. do your do your white sheets right? Yeah, yeah. S similar, not the same, not the same, but similar. I'm sorry, babe, don't, you know, <laughs> she's watching. Yeah, you're gonna get it later, yeah. Tell us a little bit about where you grew up and again, how you got into comedy. So I grew up in Queens. Um, I went to high school there for my freshman year, then I moved to Long Island, that's where I met my wife. Started making content around 2020. I always made videos, um, but for friends and family, and we never really put it out to the public, a friend of mine told me about TikTok. Started posting on there con you know, consistently, fell in love with the process. Last year, my agent reached out to me, um, and he was like, hey man, you know, I think you're super talented, I wanna bring you on tour. I kinda just brushed him off. I was like, absolutely not. I'm never going on stage, and I've never done it before. And then the comedian Joe Coy actually DM'd me. He invited my wife and I to a show. Oh, wow. And he brought us backstage and he was super nice. And he's actually the one that put the bug in my head and he was like, oh, are you doing stand up? And I was like, no, you know, I'm not just the content. He's like, dude, you're hilarious. You need to start doing stand up. So he really put the bug in me. You know, I went home, I spoke to my wife and she was like, look, just do it. You know, this is, this is your dream. You always wanted to do it, you know, but I was petrified. Then I did my first show and it was incredible. And I fell in love and now, you know, we're going all over the country, which is amazing. That's really incredible. Yes, yeah. you are gonna be, you have a tour coming up. It starts April 7th in Los Angeles, but you're going to Miami, you're going to Chicago, you're going yeah, everywhere. Going okay, everywhere. so you have this tour, what's next? What's the big dream? Where, where are you gonna take this? Um, I have an acting agent. I, I really, you know, I, I write a lot. I just, we just wrote a short film, my friend and I. Um, we're really just gonna be pitching it out. Uh, that's the end goal, I think. The end goal, honestly, is to take everything and enjoy it piece by piece and uh, live out my dream. This is, I never thought I'd be here, so. It's crazy what can happen when you put yes. your stuff on social media. 100%. Kevin, thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. it. All right.